everybody, it's Ingrid from Twinkle and today I'm going to be sharing with you some top tips for teaching kids about music theory. There are some mnemonic tricks that you can use to help kids remember where notes of different pitches sit on the staff. Let's look at this staff with the treble clef. The names of the notes are A, B, C, D, E, F and G. You can figure out where they belong on the staff using a handy mnemonic. Every good boy deserves fruit. To remember which letters match up to the spaces, remember FACE, F-A-C-E. Once you've labelled the lines and the spaces, you will be able to identify what each note is, depending on where it sits. With the bass cleft lines, you can label them in the same kind of way, but with different notes. Good bikes don't fall apart, and all cows eat grass. We also have flashcards to help students recognise where different notes are on the piano and the staff. So take a look if you're interested in that. The treble clef is used for instruments that have higher registers, like the flute, the violin and the trumpet. The bass clef is for instruments that are in the lower register, for example the bassoon and the cello. Speaking of instruments, Twinkle have a great range of flashcards to help children identify the different kinds even looking at the verbs that people use to describe playing them. There are options with images, names, and a mixture of both. A fun game you can play with your class when they're learning about the different sounds different instruments make is playing a piece of music and asking them to identify what they can hear. What instruments are they listening to? There are also plenty of flashcards and posters that'll take you through the different kinds of musical notes. These can help students understand how many beats notes last for and give them the skills to read music and understand rhythm. An activity you can play when teaching kids about rhythm is to write a series of notes on the board and challenge them to clap along to it. For example, this would go. You can also assign sounds to the different kinds of notes so you can read them out with the class and make them easier to remember. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, 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 ti. Ah, and that's all our suggestions for now. I hope you have a great time diving into the wonderful world of music with your students. Thank you so much for watching, and remember if you'd like to use any of the resources shown in this video, they're all available on the Twinkle website. Have a lovely day!